Hello and welcome back. Today we are unboxing the Gryffindor House Wand Stand. Let's tear this thing open. You guys thought my wand journey was over. My wand journey is far from over. We got tons of different ones to collect as we try to get this thing out of the box. This thing is in there pretty tight. Now, I want to show you the protection, the lines. There's no limit to the quality, the protection that Noble Collection gives its merchandise. Look at this thing. You could probably drop this off of the roof and it would be fine. But let's get this thing open and see what we're talking about right here. And it is in there. And here we have my first look and possibly your first look at the Noble Collection wand stand for Gryffindor. Now let's go ahead and take a closer look. The Gryffindor house wand stand in all of its detail. This thing has a really nice finish to it. And on each side of the wand display, we have a Gryffindor. This thing is amazing. And even right here at the bottom where we have the trademark, this stuff is raised up and printed with metal. This is carved and printed within the display itself. This thing is quite a bit better than what I was expecting. I don't really know what I was expecting when it comes to wand display stands. I kind of expect something that's wood, maybe made out of resin and maybe have some plastic on it. But this thing is all of it, all of it, all of it is die cast. The whole thing, die cast. I love it. Oh my God, the weight to it. You know, if you watch my videos, I am a sucker for weight. To me, weight means quality. This is quality right here. On each side of the wand display, we have the lion, the Gryffindor house mascot. But not only is it on the outside of this, it's also on the inside. So that's a little nice touch that they put in there. Right in the middle, we got the house logo. We got the mascot right there. Gryffindor right there with its red and yellow. This thing is really nice. All the way to the back where the timestamp is, 2021. This timestamp right here is raised. It's raised and it's, it's in there. It's in there. It's not placed on there after production. It's actually engraved in there in raised lettering. It's really, really nice. I really enjoy this. And right here we have the little spots where the griff or where the lion is being held. There is no way to take the lion off. This is not a screw hole right there. So this thing is nice. It is built solid. The only flaw that I have with this right now is right here. So this is where you're going to be putting it flat down on the table. I would imagine if you're moving it around, this is going to scratch up your table. I would have liked to see some rubber stoppers right here. That would have kind of sealed the deal for me. But this thing kind of seals the deal itself. It's not really like a gold color. It's kind of like maybe a worn gold or like a high silver kind of color. This is really nice. I really like the fact that it's not gold because I don't really care for gold. But if you haven't noticed, the wand is not sitting on there. And that's because the wand will be in the next video. Now, I don't really know the significance of this. I would say maybe Godric Gryffindor used this to store his wand on. Again, this is just me spitballing and kind of making things up. But it would kind of make sense that Godric Gryffindor had this wand stand with his Gryffindor logo in it, with the lions on it, and a nice place to put his wand because he was the creator of Gryffindor. So it makes sense to me, but if that's not right, if I'm completely off base right here, drop a comment down below and let me know. And we have, this is a new series for this right now. So we're gonna have not only the Gryffindor, we're gonna have the Hufflepuff, the Ravenclaw, Slytherin, and the Hogwarts house wand stand itself. So keep your eyes peeled for these new series. I think they're gonna be fun. And keep your eyes peeled because the next video, we're gonna be unboxing the wand for this stand. Knox!